All these peaks right here is 100% highway miles on a road trip to Vegas. So you got a no case in that, yeah. Uh, it is 100% AC. The AC doesn't drop the mileage on the highway in that car. I, I've had tanks where it was. Uh... Hold on a second. <laughs> you better edit that. Why don't you introduce yourself? Okay. Uh, uh, everybody in Gage Man Land, this is Aaron Murakami. All right. And what, Aaron, would you please explain to everybody out here? Because you know this is going on YouTube. This is your release, by the way. Okay. All right. You know that? Right. Okay. All right. So would you tell us what we're doing here? Okay. This is the last 60 times that I put gas uh, in the car. Okay. Uh, 98 Subaru GT. It's a 2.5 liter, you know, with a boxer engine in it. Right. Um, five speed, uh, mostly stock. The only modification on there is uh, headers. Okay. Um, I did have some fuel line magnets on the fuel and mm -hmm. air. Mm -hmm. um, I've tried a, a Volo Performance chip. Didn't really see much on mm -hmm. there, which is mm -hmm. attached for the fuel trims, I believe. Right, right. Um, and, and, and that's about it. Uh, I've tried different gas additives and stuff, and I've mm -hmm. I, I've seen you know some increases on some of the things I've done. Right. Well, what you but not really significant. Right. So point and explain. Let's let's see what we're looking at here. All right. Okay. Is, okay. So this is a spreadsheet. This is all okay. the data. You know. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just do a, a pan down through here okay. so you can actually Odom see the numbers if they want to. Yeah. Odometer, trip meter, gallons, uh, cost per gallon, uh, total cost, how much per mile, and then this is this column is the miles per gallon. This chart. Mm -hmm. is uh, mile, uh, miles per gallon. Okay. Okay, so this is, you know, Versus. 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh-huh. Okay, so uh, the peaks here, this is 100% 100% highway miles. Okay. This is on a trip going down to Vegas. Mm -hmm. Okay, but for the most part, the mileage um, was really not not very good. Mm -hmm. I do have a tendency to kind of be a lead foot. I, you know, I'm okay. not a, I don't have the patience to... Um, Drive, Do you, you use know, your super, machine, right? Yeah, so yeah. it's four. Yeah, me too. That's yeah. what I believe. Uh -huh. And so, um, so you can see the mileage down here is all under, t you know, 20 miles to a gallon, which is horrible. It is all-wheel yeah. drive, so it's harder yeah. to get better gas mileage, but uh -huh. pretty bad gas mileage. Okay, right. now the groove, the first time I uh, put it on when you sent me the throttle body was February 12, 20, uh, February 12 of this year. Mm -hmm. Okay. And at first, I really didn't get any gains, and actually the mileage kind of did some goofy stuff, and I actually lost mileage. Right, right. Uh, this 12 miles per gallon, that's not really what the mileage is. The pump okay. was goofy, and I had to keep doing it and topping it off, so, oh, I had, okay. so it threw off uh, the real number. Right. But all the rest is, is for real. Okay. Okay. And so, so some of it I did seem to lose mileage, but uh, you had Carl from uh, Tacoma, who does the... the the groove jobs over there. Mm -hmm. Drive over to Spokane, take a look at my car to see if there was any vacuum leaks. There were none. Everything was in good shape. But he did see the uh, idle air intake mm -hmm. um, needed to be modified. He put a cut off piece of tube in there, mm -hmm. a smaller inside diameter, right. to restrict restrict it, get mm -hmm. the vacuum up a little bit more. Right. And um, basically, this this line. This black line right here, mm -hmm. um, I found the receipt, so I just drew that in, was about, you know, barely over 20 miles per gallon. Right. Okay. And that was without resetting the fuel computer. Right. So drove it a little bit, and before I filled up the next tank, I had put, um, okay, when I when I reset the fuel computer, yep. after 100, it had 130 miles on it. Uh-huh. Um, the average mile per gallon with the re resetting the fuel computer overnight. I took mm -hmm. the positive cable, I just mm -hmm. grounded it to the body, turned right. on the lights, turned mm -hmm. on the, the key all the way. Mm -hmm. I just left it like that overnight. Mm -hmm. Next morning, hooked it back up and then put 130 miles on it. And it was the first time I hit even over 25 miles to the gallon since 100% highway miles. And that was me. You know, this mixed city and highway, most of it was highway. Uh -huh. um, but still, you know, look how long it's been since I've even been able to get there. Right. Okay. And then um, coming back and forth to the conference, uh, I filled up yesterday morning when I found this number. Uh -huh. I filled up again this morning uh, with 95 miles since yesterday morning. Okay. Uh, right before I got to the conference. And uh, the average um, is 20, 27. yeah, 27.89, wow. 27.89, and that's with maybe, 
you know, 10, 15% city driving. Right. Is basically more than almost all these 100% highway miles on cruise control. Wow. Okay. This gain that I just got with the Groove is without cruise control. Wow. Okay. And, um, you know, so I'm just going to, so, so, I mean, obviously, it's doing all this and suddenly it's coming up like this. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'll, uh, I'm going to sum up the mileage before and after. Mm -hmm. See what the average is before and after. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, then I'll let you know what, you know, what the percentage increase is. But I think there's still going to be some increases because the field computer is still, you know. Right. It's still speed. adapting. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, maybe in about a month I'll drive over to Seattle so I can do 100% highway oh, miles. Right, right, right. Just to see that. But I've never been able to beat 30. And I'm almost there. Mixed. Mixed. Are you, are you pleased? Very. Yeah. Uh, so Very. No, what? it works. It, it does work. The groove works. It works. Are you sure? Yep. It's just just a simple statement of fact. That's a fact. Can, can I get you to get up and do the hoochie coo or something? Uh, no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Aaron doesn't even want to be on camera. He's like, oh, he's trying to hide. I happened to snap a couple of good shots there. He still wouldn't smile. Not like this. So, was, yeah, see his smile? Yeah, but no, it yeah. works. And, and on here, you know, I have all the notes. Okay, here's notes. Let's, let's, let's go ahead you know, here. Uh, here's notes on okay. the mileage, you know, things I'm doing. You know, mm -hmm. this mileage was here, low snow tire pressure. <laughs> Actually, I never got around to mm -hmm. pumping them up all the way or whatever. Right. But anyway, you know, Gadget Man Groove there. Mm -hmm. And you can see the notes here. Right. These are notes I added in um, last couple tanks. And I said, mm -hmm. I believe it works. I mean, you know, you can't argue with the data. Yeah. This is 60 tanks. That's, you know, I know what the car is doing. That's, that's, yeah, we're well, not 60 thorough. tanks, 60 times I went to the gas station. Right. Not every time. 60 fill ups. Up. Right. But, but usually when I, usually when I put gas in the car, I fill it all the way to the top. Mm -hmm. And I don't go to the gas station again until the fuel light comes on, usually. Very cool. Very cool. Um, so I signed it right there, July 1st, 2012. Okay. That's so this morning. So that's my testimonial. And, uh, and so I have this little carburetor right here on a Champion 3500 watt generator mm -hmm. uh, that you're going to be doing a mod on this. Yep. So then we'll be reporting the results on uh, the generator test. And it's only taking you four months to get that carburetor. I mean, I had to come up here to pick it up. Isn't that something? Well, I was going to do the back, uh, back and forth tests. Uh, see, he's smiling again. You, but, uh, <laughs> but, I, uh, but we need that done. Uh, you'll, so. you'll, see. you'll see. Yes, we'll be more than happy to. Uh, so. Uh, your estimation is a simple science. Do you think this works every time? Would you? Would you, I know you hesitate? But uh, does it seem as, like as long as long as the uh, you don't have fuel computer problems sabotaging it, mm -hmm. it has to work. You know, I knew it worked the first time that I saw the uh, whiteboard presentation. Okay. Because I know of a similar kind of vortex concept using a pump. Right. And and what's happening in there, and when I saw it, it just made sense. I didn't have any doubt that it was going to work on a Subaru. Mm -hmm. I was just wondering how am I going to get around the fuel computer issue. Right. And evidently, um, you think you don't have to. It, it, it <laughs> doesn't itself. It's not. It's not much of an issue. Mm -hmm. I think if I put an FE in there, modified mm -hmm. map sensor, you know, do a few of these other things, mm -hmm. that there'll be even more gains. Uh -huh. And so I'm just going to keep it how it is. You, you go ahead. You go ahead and put your FE on there because we got a gadget box coming. Okay. That's specially designed for exactly what the Gage Man Groove to the, does to the combustion efficiency. I'll try it. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, you're gonna try so it. All right. I'll, I know you but, I'll, but I'll run this out a hand, you know, mm -hmm. uh, a handful of tanks, mm -hmm. uh, just so I can see what it's doing with that. Right. But then after that. You know, exactly. Uh, Thank you very much. Drive, so. That's exactly what I'd recommend. Got anything Thank else you to tell? You got anything else to tell anybody out there in Gage Man Land? Um, you can promote any, your DVDs any, and any, stuff any, too. Any, anybody who didn't come to the conference will wish they did. Yeah, but you can fix that. Don't aren't you recording this whole thing? Yeah, most most of the uh, presentations will be available on video. Okay, where do they and find so, that? Uh, those will be on emediapress.com. Okay. Um, or they can come to energeticforum.com. Okay. Isn't, isn't that your site? Uh, I'm one of the four founders of Energetic Forum. Okay. All right. Very cool. So you you know your business. Yeah. Yeah, so good. Well, I, I like that. So. You know, oh, I'm no. doing my best at it. Yeah, good. Um, and then, you know, in anything else that I'm involved in, they can find it at whitedragonpress.com. Okay. Where I have some book and video packages. Um, I am uh, looking forward to testing using the groove together with the plasma ignition. Mm -hmm. uh, if anybody wants to know about the plasma ignition, uh, that I'm involved with, they can go to ignitionsecrets.com. Okay. I got a full can, package on how to do that. Can they email you directly? Yeah, info at whitedragonpress.com. All right. 
pretty straightforward. I'll try to add yeah, that yeah. to a link below the video so that people can just okay. click on it. All right. Okay. So, all right, wonderful, Aaron. Here, I'll say thank you very much. Okay. All right, guys. To the conference. Uh, my, my great pleasure. My great pleasure. All right, so uh, guys, uh, once again, more validation. It's empirical evidence. It's personal. It's subjective, but it's backed up by what two years of data uh, collection and the experience of one expert in the field. So. God bless y'all richly and warmly, and if you guys do like me, then you'll be smiling for a stranger every day, and you will be glad you did. Bye-bye now.